Hey there, internets. Pixel Geek here. Finally got a haircut. Um, this is a quick video on how to do an animation with a drop down menu that's in a nav bar. Uh, here's what I mean. Okay, so it does that. Uh, so, ready? Here we go. All right, blank page. And uh, let's go ahead and Command E and type in nav. Press return. Now we have a nav bar. The nav bar has a bunch of uh, elements already that's inside of it. So you can see here, if you expand it, it has all of these elements. And nav links, one of these we want to make into a drop down. So what we're going to do is click inside of the nav menu and then Command E and type in drop, press return. And now we have a, what happened? Uh, there we go. That was weird. All right. So we have a drop down menu and let's go ahead and look what it does. So I'm going to preview, click, click. Cool. But I want it to animate. So here's how we're going to do that. We're going to open up the drop down component. So we have in the drop down component, we have the drop down toggle, which has our uh, down arrow icon and then the text for that. Um, the word drop down and then we have a drop down list and this is what contains our actual uh, drop down links all right so what i want to do is take the drop down list and give it an overflow of hidden okay so we want to set the overflow to hidden that way when we shrink and expand it anything that's outside of its bounds uh will be hidden we're masking it out okay so there we go. We've set that overflow to hidden. Now, uh, let me think. Yeah, we're, we're done with the structure. That's it. If you want to do any style changes as far as the colors go and everything, you can still do that. But this is just the, the general stuff to make this interaction happen. All right, so let's click on drop down. Okay, the main drop down component and then go to interactions right here. When you click on drop down and then plus for the element trigger, you get this drop down opens trigger. All right, so I'm going to click on it and now we have two choices. What happens when you when the menu opens and what happens when the menu closes? So what we want to do is when the menu opens, start an animation. Oops. Oh yeah, so start animation and I'm gonna click plus and create a new one. I'm gonna call it drop down open. All right, and now I'm gonna to go to the left and click on the drop down list right here because that's what I want to affect. All right, so this is the trigger and the trigger is going to affect this drop down list. And I'm gonna click on plus for the actions and I'm gonna set this to size. All right, so we have a drop down list size and on the bottom right, I'm going to set this as initial state. And so the size of this dropdown list, when it's open, I want it to be zero. I'm going to start from zero, all right? And then I'm going to add another action, press plus, size. And this one is going to have a, let's set the duration to 0.25 seconds. Set the ease to out court, but you can use any ease you want. And then for the size, I'm gonna set that to auto. So I clicked on this little PX for pixel, but I changed it to auto on the height, all right? Save, and now I'm gonna go to menu closes. So I'm gonna start an animation. I'm going to duplicate the drop down open go inside of it, so click it twice, change this name to drop down, close, delete this step, and for drop down list size, I'm going to turn off initial state. So I'm just going backwards, okay? I'm closing it back to zero pixels. Set the duration to 0.25, and I'm gonna set that ease to be the same thing, and there we go. Now we're almost done. We've set our interactions, but now we need to make sure that the timing of the closing of the, uh, of the menu is set correctly. So we've set the animation time to two, uh, 0.25 seconds. So we're gonna go to the element settings right here at the top. And let's see here. 
Where are we? Drop down. Oh, there it is. So right here in the drop down settings, we want the close delay to be, so this one's milliseconds. So I'm going to set it to 250 milliseconds, which is two, which is 0.25 seconds. All right. And then if we preview, there we go. So let me show you. There we go. And because the interaction is reusable, I can just copy and paste this drop down three times and it'll work for all three. Cool. All right, so that's a quick tutorial. Hopefully this helps. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Like it, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching and make the web beautiful together. See ya.